Buddhism in Pakistan took root some 2,300 years ago under the Mauryan king Ashoka, whom Nehru once called greater than any king or emperor. Buddhism has a long history in present day history of Pakistan over time being part of areas within Bactria, the Indo Greek Kingdom, the Kushan Empire, ancient India with the Maurya Empire of Ashoka, the Pala Empire, the Punjab region, and Indus River Valley cultures areas now within the present day nation of Pakistan. Buddhist scholar Kumaralabda Tong Shou of the Taxila was comparable to Aryadeva, Asvaosa and Nagarjuna. In 2012, the National Database and Registration Authority indicated that the contemporary Buddhist population of Pakistan was minuscule with 1,492 adult holders of National Identity Cards The total population of Buddhists is therefore unlikely to be more than a few thousand. In 2017, number of Buddhist voters was stated to be 1,884 and they are mostly concentrated in Sindh and Punjab. The only functional Buddhist temple in Pakistan is in the diplomatic enclave at Islamabad, used by Buddhist diplomats from countries like Sri Lanka. <laughs> <laughs> Buddhism in antiquity Regions <laughs> <laughs> Gilgit Baltistan Buddhism came to this part of the country in the late 7th century when most of the masses were practicing Bon religion. Before the arrival of Islam, Tibetan Buddhism and Bon to a lesser extent were the main religions in Baltistan. Buddhism can be traced back to before the formation of the Tibetan Empire. The region has a number of surviving Buddhist archaeological sites. These include the Manthal Buddha Rock, a rock relief of the Buddha at the edge of the village near Skardu and the sacred rock of Hunza. Nearby are former sites of Buddhist shelters. Baltistan had Buddhist majority till the 15th century, before the arrival of Islam in this region. Since then most of the people converted to Islam. The presence of Buddhism in this region has now been limited to archaeological sites, as the remaining Buddhists of this region moved east to Ladakh where Buddhism is the majority religion. Gandhara The majority of people in Gandhara, present-day southern Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province, were Buddhist. Gandhara was largely Mahayana Buddhist, but also a stronghold of Vajrayana Buddhism. The Swat Valley, known in antiquity as Udayana, was a kingdom tributary to Gandhara. There are many archaeological sites from the Buddhist era in Swat. Udayana. The Buddhist sage Pamamsambhava is said to have been born in a village near the present-day town of Chakdara in Lower Dir district, which was then a part of Adiyana. Pamamsambhava is known as Guru Rinpoche in Tibetan and it is he who introduced Vajrayana Buddhism in Tibet. <laughs> Punjab region Buddhism was practiced in the Punjab region, with many Buddhist monastery and stupa sites in the Taxila World Heritage Site locale. It was also practiced in the Sindh regions. <inaudible> Sindh Buddhist sites in Sindh are numerous but ill-preserved and various stages of deterioration. Sites at Brahmanabad Mansura Sangar district, Buddhist stupa at Mohan Jo Daro, Saraji Takri near Rori, Sukkar, Kahu Jo Daro at Mirpur Khas, Nawabsha, Saduran Jo Thul near Hyderabad, Thulmir Rukan stupa near Moro Many terracotta tiles from Kaho Jo Daro and Buddha statues are exhibited in Chhatrapati Shivaji Museum, Mumbai. Baluchistan <inaudible> <inaudible> Chinese Buddhist traveler Hyuan Sang reported many Buddhist temples in coastal regions of Makran, Baluchistan. The remains of Buddhist cave city called Godrani Caves can still be seen today. <inaudible> <inaudible> Buddhism in modern Pakistan The presence of Pakistani Buddhists in modern Pakistan is unclear, although a few Pakistanis have reported themselves as Buddhist. A report mentions that they are only found in the so-called Azad Kashmir region. The Nirbakshi sect is said to retain some elements of Buddhism. 
Another report mentions a nomadic Bauri Bawaria tribe on the outskirts of Mandi Yasmin and Rahimayar Khan as being Buddhist. Tridev Roy, the Chakma chief, supported Pakistan during the 1971 Bangladesh Liberation War, left the Chittagong region and settled in Pakistan. He claimed to represent the Buddhists of Pakistan by founding and chairing the Pakistan Buddhist Society from 1996 until his death in 2012. His family stayed behind in Bangladesh. Islam and Hinduism Gandhara remained a largely Hindu Buddhist land until around 10th century CE, when Sultan Mahmud conquered the region and introduced Islam. There was settlement of Muslims and the emigration of Hindu Buddhists. Most Buddhists in Punjab, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and Sindh were in process of converting to Hinduism from 600 CE onwards. Many Buddhists converted to Islam. Buddhism was practiced by the majority of the population of Sindh up to the Arab conquest by the Umayyad Caliphate in 710 CE. These regions became predominantly Muslim during the rule of Delhi Sultanate and later the Mughal Empire due to the missionary Sufi saints whose dargahs shrines dot the landscape of Pakistan and the rest of South Asia. Taliban destruction of Buddhist relics The Swat Valley in Pakistan has many Buddhist carvings and stupas, and Jehanabad contains a seated Buddha statue. Kushan era Buddhist stupas and statues in Swat Valley were demolished by the Taliban, and after two attempts by the Taliban, the Jehanabad Buddha's face was dynamited. Only the Bamiyan Buddhas were larger than the carved giant Buddha statue in Swat near Mangalore, which the Taliban attacked. The government did nothing to safeguard the statue after the initial attempt at destroying it, which did not cause permanent harm, but when the second attack took place on the statue the feet, shoulders, and face were demolished. Islamists such as the Taliban and looters destroyed much of Pakistan's Buddhist artifacts left over from the Buddhist Gandhara civilization, especially in Swat Valley. The Taliban deliberately targeted Gandhara Buddhist relics for destruction. The Christian Archbishop of Lahore Lawrence John Saldanha wrote a letter to Pakistan's government denouncing the Taliban activities in Swat Valley including their destruction of Buddha statues and their attacks on Christians, Sikhs, and Hindus. Gandhara Buddhist artifacts were also looted by smugglers. A group of Italians helped repair the Buddha at Jahanabad, Swat. <laughs> Pakistan Buddhist tourism In March 2013, a group of around 20 Buddhist monks from South Korea made the journey to the monastery of Takht e Bahi, 170 kilometres from Islamabad. The monks defied appeals from Seoul to abandon their trip for safety reasons and were guarded by Pakistani security forces on their visit to the monastery, built of ochre coloured stone and nestled on a mountainside. From around 1000 years BC until the 7th century AD, northern Pakistan and parts of modern Afghanistan formed the Gandhara Kingdom, where Greek and Buddhist customs mixed to create what became the Mahayana strand of the religion. The monk Marinanta set out from what is now northwest Pakistan to cross China and spread Buddhism on the Korean peninsula during the 4th century. The authorities are even planning package tours for visitors from China, Japan, Singapore and South Korea, including trips to the Buddhist sites at Takht e Bahi, Swat, Peshawar and Taxila, near Islamabad. Takht i Bahi Takht means «throne» and Bahi, water or «spring» in Persian, Urdu. The monastic complex was called Takht i Bahi because it was built atop a hill and also adjacent to a stream. Located 80 km from Peshawar and 16 km northwest of the city of Mardin, Takht i Bahi was unearthed in early 20th century and in 1980 it was included in the UNESCO World Heritage List as the largest Buddhist remains in Gandhara, along with the Sar i Balal urban remains that date back to the same period, located about a kilometer south. Taxila The modern town of Taxila is 35 km from Islamabad. Most of the archaeological sites of Taxila are located around Taxila Museum. For over 1,000 years, Taxila remained famous as a center of learning Gandhara art of sculpture, architecture, education and Buddhism in the days of Buddhist glory. 
There are over 50 archaeological sites scattered in a radius of 30 km around Taxila. Some of the most important sites are Damarajika Stupa and Monastery 300 BC to 200 AD, Bhir Mound 600 to 200 BC, Sirkap 200 BC to 600 AD, Jandial Temple C.250 BC and Jaulian Monastery 200 600 AD, a museum comprising various sections with rich archaeological finds of Taxila, arranged in chronological order and properly labeled, has been established close to the site. Topic. Mingora Mingora, 3 km away from Saidu Sharif, has yielded magnificent pieces of Buddhist sculpture and the ruins of a great stupa. Shingardar Stupa is one of the famous located near Bariko Other stupas like Amman Khat and Jahana Abad are two a great asset. Topic. Swat The lush green valley of Swat district with its rushing torrents, icy cold lakes, fruit-laden orchards and flower-decked slopes—is ideal for holiday makers intent on relaxation. It also has a rich historical past. Adhyana, the garden of the ancient Hindu epics, the land of enthralling beauty, where Alexander of Macedonia fought and won some of his major battles before crossing over to the plains of Pakistan, and the Valley of the Hanging Chains. Described by the famous Chinese pilgrim chroniclers, Faxian and Zanzong in the 5th and 7th centuries. Swat was once a cradle for major strands of Buddhism, where 1,400 monasteries flourished, Little Vehicle, Great Vehicle and the esoteric sects. It was the home of the famous Gandhara school of sculpture which was an expression of Greco-Roman form in the local Buddhist tradition. However, the ruins of great Buddhist stupas, monasteries and statues are found all over Swat. See also Tridev Roy, Pakistani Buddhist politician and leader History of Buddhism Buddhism in Afghanistan History of Pakistan Index, Buddhism by country References External links Archaeology in Gandhara region — Buddhist sites <laughs>